Okay. One more time. What we got going on? So our ankle good. I almost feel like I want to wear my glasses. I just woke up. I want to get you tell. Can you tell me just woke up? Been sleeping my eyes. So, where are we going? Going to our best friend, MJ Harris's YouTube page. This might get me kicked off. <laughs> this might get me blocked for real. <laughs> Thankfully, I got multiple uh, YouTube accounts. Uh, okay. Uh-oh. Pause it. Pause it, pause it, pause it. Yes. Really gotta watch for my laptop. Too much my laptop. Be bigger. It's a process. I'm figuring this all out. Bear with me, bear with me. Don't get mad. Don't get stressed. I got enough. I got enough pressure on me right now with the videos that's out there. Get in here, get in here, get in here, best friends. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I need to stop that. That's me. That's so me. Uh, welcome to my channel. I'm Lavelle, also aka Vale. This is the evolution of Vale, which is my YouTube channel, uh, newly formed. So today, um, it's Memorial Day. It's been a pretty chill day. Uh, the weather here in Chicago is absolutely beautiful. Uh, so I actually was utilizing my day to uh, wrap up some editing on a couple videos that I wanted to get posted to my page uh, and also the Four Mitches. Um, and so I was working through that and Hey, needed a nap, and right before I was going to nap, like most of us, I grab my phone, I'm kind of like, just, I don't know, picking something social media wise to put me to sleep, rock me to sleep, and what do I see but a brand spanking new video that was less than, I think, five or six minutes old from my best friend, uh, MJ Malcolm Harris, and the title was so catchy, um, that because he's posted like, I don't know, like five or six videos. Like he's you know, on a rampage. Like he's posting videos like crazy. Um, and even last night I was driving and he had a live going on, um, putting his closet together, going through clothes and stuff. So this dude is amazing. Like for real, for real, for real. He's he is amazing uh, as far as like the whole marketing, the whole you know uh, influencer thing. So for that, like uh, I am truly a fan. Like for real, for real. Like on a different level, I'm a fan. Um, but the title of this video that caught my attention and almost made it where I could not take my nap, just I needed it so bad, um, was to all my haters, dot, 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 sent with love, well, dot, 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 then dot, 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 sent with love, and then uh, kissy uh, emoji with the heart. Um, and so I was like, oh my God, so like, what is MJ about to say? And then also... A little bit of guilt. I was like, oh my God, I probably qualify as one of the haters. Or at least by definition. I'm not a hater of MJ Harris. I swear I am not a hater. I love this dude. I am following him. However, I'm going to talk about the entertainment value of his storyline and what the F he has going on. And that doesn't make me a hater. It makes me a commentator. I'm a commentator. <laughs> not a hater. I love MJ Harris. Anyway, uh, so I was like, okay, well... Although I planned on kind of getting away from the storyline, um, I, I was like, it's pulling me to, yeah. So I'm doing another effing, oh, now my neighbor wants to turn on the lawnmower right <laughs> next to my office window. This is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. And I'm not sure if it can be heard. Um, but just in case it can't, because I feel like he's been mowing the lawn all fucking day. Um, just in case it can't be heard, I'm going to continue, but I'm going to uh, stop this and then replay it so I can hear if this lawnmower can be heard that I hear very clearly. Um, but long story short, we are going to get into this MJ Harris, um, to all my haters, sent with love video, and you'll get my reaction as I watch it for the first time, I swear. I didn't even watch it because I was like, I, I want to be authentic to um, my new subscriber family and let you see the real like the other videos and I was transparent I had watched uh, I think all of those I had watched before but my reactions were real it was just that I kind of kind of knew where things were going this I don't have an idea but we're gonna find out together so 
let's get into this video. If I have to pause because of this dude out here mowing lawn at 6 p.m., all day you had. Um, <laughs> you won't know the difference because I'm going to cut it together like MJ Harris cut that fake story together <laughs> with all his edits. Anyway, uh, let's get into it, people. All right, I'm back. And this is editing for you because you can't even tell that uh, I paused this for, I don't even know how long, like 10 minutes and went to talk to the neighbor because uh, he was about to start <laughs> the part of the uh, grass right up under uh, my office windows. Um, so we worked something out. He's, he's really cool. I, I mean, it's, it's a blessing to be able to say you got, you know, good neighbors. Um, so we're going to get through this video and then, um, yeah. So before I hit play, and give you the actual reaction and some people probably don't like this part I'm always with these longer videos do a little intro timestamp if you want to skip all of this and you could care less who I am and what I do and to get to know me it's okay I sometimes don't want to know myself so but um I always want to talk about like what I'm drinking and all of that because you'd be amazed how many people are like well what was you drinking you ain't say nothing about what you drink so and I learned this from doing the four midges so today Again, um, I am not a major drinker. It, you know, with these reaction videos, it feels good to have, have a drink. Um, and because I'm not a drinker, I don't spend a lot of money on alcohol when I get it, uh, especially if I'm getting it for the house, which, again, I don't even do that, but I did it for y'all. So anyway, this is a Yosel Sangria. Um, and so I'm gonna have some more of this. This should be the last of it, because this is the, well, I might get a glass and a half out of here. But this is, um, let me show you guys. Let me, let me do this right, the right kind of demonstration. Um, yeah, this should probably be like a glass and a half or something. So I'm gonna knock this one out. I don't know if I'm gonna knock the whole thing out in this. Why am I even stopping with that? Whoa, I thought it was a glass and a half, but just one full glass. All right, no problem. So cheers as we get into this video. It's good and it's um i had it in the fridge so it's cold y'all know i don't like no warm alcohol okay so without further ado we are recording so <laughs> make sure we're recording because it'll be a waste um okay we got this again i took a 10 minute break so now i'm like a little thrown off about my setup and making sure everything's good and i'm not forgetting anything i think we are good so let's get into did i ask you guys to like comment share and subscribe and did i say welcome to Anyone who's new to this video and welcome to those who are returning. If I didn't, this is that part right here. All right, let's go. I know y'all hate when I delay too long. I know you do. Okay, so I'm in large full screen. Give myself the full effect. I'm watching on my laptop, which is right below this camera. <sighs> MJ. I hope you ain't mad at me. Okay. Y'all get in here, get in here, get in here right now because I keep on. Uh oh, he ain't calling his best friends. From people. And I want you to click like and share in this, okay? Because this is going to be relevant for your life. Click so like and share here on this and video. I keep getting here, questions, but they say, Are you aware of what people say about you? Have, are you aware? Because I've been on cam for 12 years, so this ain't nothing new to me. Are you Ooh, aware that so and so feel this way? You aware that the 12 years I should have started my channel, he was already in because this is magnetic. If you want I would be at MJ Harris level. Ask, am I doing okay at any point in time about some shit that's going on in the world? And I have not some shit. This storyline. Let me tell you why. And let me tell you why y'all shouldn't respond to that kind of shit even in your own. I kind of don't. Yeah. Okay. I don't respond to it because I don't give a fuck about it. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Amen. I don't give one raggedy fuck. Woo, one okay. raggedy fuck. What you got to understand is this, all right? I'm a beat man. Really that's get down into the language. Of this, okay? I am a openly black gay man from the hood. Okay? Okay. I have for this whole fame thing, whatever's happening in my life right now, whatever's happening in your life right now, I Ooh, fame. He said he fame. Like you fought bigger battles in the past. Some bitch talking about you ain't got really don't mean a motherfucking thing. All that's it true. means is that that's is that this bitch's life is irrelevant and therefore they find relevance only in talking about you. It has no bearing or no reflection <laughs> on you. It's only a total reflection on them, okay? And when you really lock into it. Yes. When you lock yes. into it, when you uh -huh. lock into it, when you get down to the, when you get down to 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 to, 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 to the marrow in this. the bone. Yes. Ooh, what right you in the depths of it. Is that you should not feel upset 
with a raggedy bitch for talking about you. Ooh, okay? we're calling us what raggedy you bitches. Is when you say your prayers at night, you yes. say, you say, dear heavenly father, bless the raggedy heavenly bitches. <laughs> I thank you for my abundance. Oh I yeah. For keeping me on the tongues of even my enemies. Glory to God. Well, I'm not your enemy. Don't do but that. But what I thank Don't you for most is that I had the resilience not to give a. Yeah, because don't say that to when you talk you to God. This thing keeps Okay, and what you do stuck. at that point in time is that you make a very conscious choice that you are not going to interact with people who bring mess into your life. When the next right, bitch right, comes right. to you saying, did you hear what so-and-so had to say about you, girl? Your first question is, why the fuck did that person feel so comfortable talking to you about me given that they knew, given what they knew? Bone collectors. Those are bone collectors. You got to be careful with those bone collectors. Y'all be getting mad about, about the raggedy bitch down the street that said the shit to her. But meanwhile, why did they feel comfortable saying to her in the first place? That's the first question. The second question is this. How the fuck did you respond? Because you know my character. You know me. All right? So how did you respond? The third question is, he why is do you feel like this is something to bring to me? Why on earth would you disturb my peace? Why on earth? Bullshit. You see what I'm saying? Sometimes Ooh, he is it's not about it. checking the raggedy bitch down the street that got some nasty shit to say about you because you already know her shit is fucked up or she wouldn't be talking about you. Okay? Sometimes about checking them, checking the, checking the, the what they call the, the bone carrier. Checking the person bone the shit to you. Bone you see what I'm saying? I know I love everybody. I love you to death, but I know people don't have bad intentions sometimes. But no, let me make this motherfucking clear for a minute, okay? To all my best friends, and I invite you to take the same position within your own life. Are they yes. ready for it, sister? I'm you? ready. Oh, I'm ready. Goodness. What I want to tell you is this right now, okay? There are 7 billion people on the face of the earth, okay? Mm -hmm. Everybody ain't going to like every choice you make. Everybody gonna like, ain't going to like what you do. Some bitch is going to outright resent you for living free, living happy, living bold, and being you. And that's not your so true. fucking problem, okay? If you waste your God If they don't pay your time bills, time pay them no matter. To be a reflection of what you believe will get the least amount of criticism from other people or trying to be a reflection of what you think other people want you to be, you will be a miserable bitch who will live, who will Will die literally you will die living far below your full potential okay to the end of that's the a day, word i ain't even playing that that's a word when i wake up to my money when i wake up to my loving family the last thing that's on my mind is what some raggedy bitch down the street got to say about me what's on my mind is do i have peace within my heart do i do I? what's on my mind is that do the people who actually know me and love me are they in my corner what's on my mind is am i healthy happy and free yeah. That just needs to be on your mind, baby. I've got to tell you this, okay? We got to let go of this mindset that everybody got to like us, that everybody mm -mm. got to approve of us. And Lord, you get yourself in trouble trying so to get everybody to like you because you ain't going to ever get that back. You got something to say about us. Waste you must be doing something wrong. No, baby. You're doing something right if you're on the tongues of other people. To be quite honest, to be quite honest with you. He's growing. Day, He's okay? huge but, right now. Um, what he, what he yeah, he's doing something right. I'm not a big fan of him all the time. But what kind of guess he says he says that bitch made me famous? Oh, I made that bitch famous. That's something, honey. Y'all making these bitches famous by talking about them. So you got to, you got to thank, you got to thank these people for doing what they do. But, but, but you also need to detach thank yourself you, MJ. from now the idea it. that somehow or another you can, you can change yourself. That was a little, get up little heavy, baby. evil, and other people's like, what mean is in not front, relevant. In the it's not important. And, he, and dare I say it, it doesn't mean anything for your life. I'm gonna share this with you real fast, okay? What's for that? For me, when I was at my brokest point in my life. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. When I was at my brokest point in my life, had no money, or I was struggling financially, it was during the times of my life where I was buttoned up, trying to make everybody like me. Hi, I'm I'm MJ Harris. I don't curse. <laughs> Got a cute face like a little Care Bear. <laughs> little kid, little boy, little twin. You know. And I was trying to make everybody I mean, motherfucking boy. like me. Okay. If somebody had one bad thing to say about me, ooh. Ooh, I was changing everything about myself, changing everything about myself. Replaying it in and your head, all that. I've been there you know too. You know what? You, you helped me with this. One. You did. I said, hold on. These bitches ain't putting not one piece of penny in my pocket with they, with, with they negative opinions or positive opinions of me. So what I got to do is I got to be my full self and let the chips fall where they may. Okay? Mm -hmm. I will tell you this. Certainly, with how I live my life, best life, choices that I've made within my life, and trust me, being open and being bold. Yes, some people have fallen out of my life. Of course, absolutely, it, absolutely. it happens anytime yes, you grow. Some growing. people have stopped following me, absolutely. But for every one person that fell out of my life, you got five or six. And for every one follow I lost, a thousand came on. You see what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, what I yeah, right y'all best friends who was uh, fair with the best friends, he ain't told me he ain't suffering from it. You can't cater your life. 
to trying to chase after other people's approval. You got to be the fullest version of yourself because the people yeah. who are meant to be in the background, she is <laughs> in that word. And even if they don't <laughs> like your choices, they will right. still say, "But I support you." Okay? That's me. And they will recognize who you're at, and they will respect you. I your still support them. They will rock yeah. with you. But the bitches who that's me and Jay. You are no I still support the you. Of you that they desire for you to be. That I have not unfollowed him or unsubscribed place because they were only in a relationship with the, with the facade you was given. Okay? They wasn't he admitted it's a facade. So he has admitted it's a facade. Like, someone's only place in your life is contingent upon you. Y'all be missing this look. That they want you to be, then open the motherfucking well, door for them the to ones, leave. Y'all who watching that stuff for the ones who do the hate comments. Okay? Y'all missing You don't this. lose one motherfucking day off your life. You don't lose one fucking inch off your dick. You don't lose one fucking pound off your ass. Okay? You know, I feel good. The spirit. Yes, you better shake it for him, baby, okay? You don't lose none of that. You don't lose none of that. <laughs> I told y'all he got a little ratchet. A like, that's a, there's a, there's a lot, of, there's a lot of ratchet going on here. What you out on life in, is when you start trying to shape shift yourself to be what other people think you should be. So that's when y'all click like and click share, just know I'm blessed. Just I am going to click fine. like just on this video. Because, just because I don't respond I to like the I'm negative almost, things. I got to go back because I don't know if I click like. I don't think I did. What it is a reflection of is that I don't give a fuck about Okay, let's make one motherfucking thing clear. Don't let all so these giveaways and all the sweetness and kindness you see in me on camera fool you, baby. I'm all those things, but one thing I also am is a very, very, very strong person. You don't sit in front of 20 million people a month being a weak bitch, okay? <laughs> At all, baby, okay? <laughs> so just understand this, that the smiles you see on my face and the joy you see out. in my heart is not a reflection <laughs> of ignorance. It's a reflection of resilience in the face of, of just fucker, fu fucking fuckery, okay? <laughs> fucking fuckery. That's what it is. That's what it is. Fuckery, okay? I'm doing good. You be blessed, okay? And for yes. those of y'all who are watching me right now, you mm -hmm. continue to watch my journey and watch how I respond to shit, okay? I Take will be what you right will, with you. Leave behind what you don't. If you like mm -hmm. what I'm doing, feel free to comment, like, Shoot share, meat, subscribe. Spit if you out don't bones. like what I'm doing, by all means, save yourself the trouble and just unfold. Follow me. Don't yeah. talk me about it, baby, because my block hand is strong as a motherfucker Woo! and I never fail to use it. God I haven't bless started blocking people yet. Day. All right. <laughs> well, I guess he said what he said. I don't think he left with he left y'all with no questions. Um Wow, I'm processing. That was a lot. That was a lot. Because on one hand, that was a lot, like in the sense of it's kind of aggressive. Um not kind of. It was very aggressive. <laughs> um, I've never been in that position, so I can't say how I would handle it. I'm not really kind of a go off and, you know, I curse a lot, obviously, because y'all have heard it a lot. <laughs> and I try to beep out some stuff here and there. Um, and it's still me cursing a lot. But anyway, uh, when I get angry, that's not really kind of my go-to thing. Um, but there were totally... And see, this is again, this is the thing that I say of why, even through all of the shenanigans, MJ Harris is somebody to follow at his foundation, what he provides, the content, like the growth mindset, um, you know, uh, wealth building, all of that stuff. He's real with that. That's that's at his core. That's that. I think this other stuff is just, you know, it's content. It, it is what it is. It's entertainment. This is YouTube and he's on other social media platforms. And at the end of the day, they're primarily based and created for entertainment. And then some of all the other stuff derived, like you can get the news off of it and all that. But the, generally, the bulk of the stuff, if I'm not, if I'm not wrong, the bulk of the stuff on YouTube is entertainment. So why the fuck are we um, upset when someone is entertaining us? Um, so I'm not mad at that. No matter what all these hate comments on my page <laughs> are saying, I'm not mad. I'm not hating on him. I am commentating. Do you do you call the news reporters and say you a hater? How you gonna report about uh, that uh, fire on that street? You just hate. Well, no, I'm reporting facts. Uh, so the fact is that the whole storyline was fake, um, and he's obviously feeling some kind of way. So people have realized it or something. I don't know. <laughs> But um, th what he was saying at its core was true, that you cannot base your living, your existence. And it's so funny because I have a video that I was editing today, which is The Power of No, which is something I recorded uh, six weeks or so ago. Um, but they tie together, so I guess I'll be releasing it uh, with it. But you cannot base your existence and your moves based on the whims and the opinions of others and basically if they don't pay your bills pay them no mind and uh, RuPaul says that um, he probably didn't create it but he, he definitely says it a lot um, 
So with that, you know, it is what it is. I'm still going to follow him. I don't really feel any kind of way because I don't consider myself a hater. I'm a commentator. Um, so I don't take offense to it because I don't really feel like it was directed to me. Um, his com his best friends, the hateful best friends, uh, his his best friend hive. I don't know. I got to think of a day for for them when they attack. Um, but anyway, yeah, I've been getting some of those across uh, the, both the channels, the Mitches and the four Mitches and also um, the evolution of Vale. But it's like it is what it is. People are going to always have opinions. Uh, hell, I got an opinion on this story. So it is what it is. Um, but yeah, let me know what you, what you think about that. <laughs> like what he had to say. I mean, not only like let's let's look at it from both angles, you know. The feeling that you got from it and the aggression like yes like that part but also the the real deal at its core foundation the truth truth nuggets that were in there about um being your authentic self and not basing who you are on the whims and the desires of people you weren't created by people. You were created by your higher power, whoever that is for you. I know who it is for me. But um, so you should not be living your life based on <laughs> them. You should be living your life based on the creator. Because that's going to get you ultimately to your highest level of being um, and help you reach your full potential. So with that, um, not sure if that makes a whole lot of sense, but um, this was my reaction to the MJ Harris to all my haters sent with love <laughs> Fuck you, motherfucker. sent with love <laughs> the effery sent with love <laughs> anyway thank you guys if you have watched this to the end what are we gonna say what are we gonna comment if you have watched this to the end I guess we'll comment I don't know no I was gonna say haters but I want I want positive energy mm -hmm. Like, I don't want to go too deep into the negative energy. Um, here we go. Um, if you have watched this video till the end, comment sent with love. Yes, sent with love. Because that's what we're doing. We're sending love. We're going to commentate. Don't get me wrong. And I'm going to have a reaction video if I feel the urge to have a reaction video because this is life and this is entertainment. I'm not critiquing uh, any anything that's real. Uh, <laughs> so it's entertainment. It was a, a TV show because that's why it was edited and produced and aired on YouTube. If it was somebody's personal life, I would not have access to see it by clicking buttons. Um, so <laughs> with that, um, please remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, and click that notification bell at the bottom so you'll be notified when I post weekly videos and uh, it'll be some extra ones here and there because I got a few I want to upload um, over this week actually. So. Click the notification bell, because if you like, oh, I'm going to just check them out, like, oh, I'm going to go check on Sundays, you might miss five videos I posted during the week, because I got to get some content on this page, so it's binge-worthy. Like, you want binge-worthy. I love binge-worthy um, channels. This is going to be a binge-worthy channel, I guarantee you that. Give us a little while, but we're going to get there. So, with that, thank you for the new subscribers. Feeling good, like, building, a, uh, building like a little family and friends, and uh, it's feeling good. And your, your energy... Um, of the ones who are not making the negative comments about me being a hater and bringing black people down. I'm going to do a video on that. Y'all y'all going to see it because uh, I like to troll trolls. Like, so. Um, and that's sent with love. <laughs> anyway, till next time, uh, you guys be careful out there. Uh, keep yourself uh, healthy and safe. You know, I, I know a lot of the states are opening back up. Um, so just don't run flooding out there because this is not about like, oh, you know, COVID, I'm, YouTube will demonetize, so I'm trying to watch saying that word. Row, row. <laughs> so it's not that, you know, the states are saying, or the medical officials are saying, row, row has, is gone and we can't get it. What this is, is an economic move to save the, the country from imploding and going bankrupt completely. So it's a financial and economic move. It has nothing to do with your health, except for there's more space in hospitals to accommodate those of those who would get it and then be you know bedridden and all that so be careful try to still uh self isolate as much as possible hopefully you have hopefully you have employers that are thoughtful or you're on your own doing your own entrepreneur thing which is what we all working towards right all of us yep 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 we're gonna talk about that 
anyway i'm rambling with that love you guys take care thanks again let's go peace